Hi, I'm Cameron, Product Manager for DBT Cloud's Metadata Platform. Data is a means to an end, and that end is always driven by the business. Data needs to be accessible to anyone in the organization that would use it to make decisions. It can't just live in tables in your data platform that only the technical teams can leverage. To unlock the value of data across your organization, more stakeholders need to be able to participate in data workflows, whether that means reusing or refining models from platform teams, querying metrics in their favorite visualization tool, or tracing how that metric was calculated. You need a variety of inroads to that data to enable more people to actually use it. It all starts with discovery and trust. We launched GBT Explorer last October at Coalesce. Explorer surfaces all of the rich metadata from your DBT Cloud project, so you can easily discover, reuse, and improve trusted data assets. We're proud of the progress we've made in the past six months and the impact Explorer is having on data teams and their stakeholders. Explorer reaches over 3,500 users weekly across over 1,400 active customers. We've already processed 48 million columns since the column lineage release. And today we're excited to share that DBT Explorer is officially in GA, including column level lineage. We're building towards the vision of a shared canvas for DBT developers and analysts to come together and drive the ROI of their data. Our journey to GA included steps to help data teams understand, troubleshoot, and improve their data pipelines making it easier for stakeholders to discover and analyze trusted data. We'll continue to advance new features like column level lineage, model performance analysis, project recommendations, and improve search and lineage. Data teams working in TBT Cloud already find Explorer essential for their analytics workflows. All right, let's see a demo. As a DBT developer, I want to see what models are available, how they're used, and whether I can trust them. I'll use Explorer to understand, troubleshoot, and improve our data assets. First, I open a multi-project lineage for my account, and I understand which project to use. This data analytics project looks like the right one for me. So I'm going to open up this project, and I'm looking for production data related to orders. So I can search across all of the different resources within this project, filter by models, and really just hone in on marts. Now that I find a model, I can look at its information, understand its lineage, and look at the code that defines it as well. So I'm interested in understanding the broader lineage of this model. So I can zoom out and really understand where does the data come from and where is it used. I can look at it within the broader context of the project as well. What are all of the different data assets defined? And I can understand how they're defined and how they're run. I'm also interested in understanding more about the order items. So here I found a model that I can examine further. So now that I'm in this model, I'm interested in understanding more about how costs are calculated. So I'll search for costs within the columns, and I found supplier costs here. So here I can trace the column lineage all the way back to the source. I can troubleshoot and resolve issues in the source data and beyond. So let's zoom out a little bit and understand how is the source data used across the project. All right, looks like this part supply data is used throughout the project. And I can see based on test results, there's a model here that has failing tests. So I'm gonna investigate and better understand how can I improve data quality for this model and for our stakeholders. Let's get the broader context first though. Are there any other models with failing runs or failing tests? And it really looks like it's this one, accounting for all of the failures. 
So now we can look at how it's changed over time. It's been pretty consistent. This test has been failing for quite some time and it's time for us to go fix it. So let's go look at the test that's defined on top of this model. We can open up the test information here. We can see that it's failing and we can look at its definition. So it's based on a couple of different columns here. So we can go back to that model and investigate those columns. So let's open up the model again and we'll open up column lineage. All right, so first return rate and we can understand where does this column come from and what's going on here. So here we can see how the columns changed throughout the process. We can see where it's been transformed versus reused. And when it's reused, we can inherit the description here and understand where these columns are coming from. All right, looks like we have some room for improvement. Let's see some of the recommendations here, documentation and a primary key test. So I think we found our next task. We'll go into the IDE. We're gonna improve it all within DBT Cloud. We're able to understand what's available, where are the issues, troubleshoot those issues, and then ultimately go resolve the issue all within one platform. Now let's look forward to what's coming next. Our vision for Explorer is that it helps both data producers and consumers drive the ROI of their data and time. That is, we wanna inform high quality decisions while keeping costs in check. So imagine this example. A business analyst reports the wrong revenue number and we need to figure out how to prevent it in the future. How can we not break the CFO's dashboard, but also make it better? What metadata and experiences are needed? So as you likely know, DBT brings software engineering best practices to data. When a new software product is released, its usage is tracked. When a new marketing campaign is launched, its impact is measured. So it's time to bring that visibility to data products as well. We envision a mix of auto exposures, model query history, and tile embedding to help make that a reality. Earlier, Ruben introduced end-to-end -end connectivity, so DBT Cloud can automatically become aware of downstream data use cases. A natural place to navigate this enriched lineage is Explorer where you'll be able to visualize the BI auto exposures, starting with Tableau. When we go to Explorer, we can see the dashboard with context about it. Building trust in data is essential for it to be used by stakeholders. That trust comes from consistency in data delivery with visibility to ensure the proper quality checks are in place. A benefit of using exposures is you can trace the lineage back to the models used in it, and I can troubleshoot a data quality issue by looking at the model's test results and their source's freshness. Explorer will also be enriched with new metrics like how much a given model is queried and how and which models are used most throughout the project. The usage of your data products by stakeholders is the best indicator of their value. By understanding how models are used, you can drive data ROI, identify popular models and optimize their performance, sunset and divest from unused models, ensure quality and continuity with richer impact analysis and unlock discovery to share your work with your organization. With model query history and auto exposures in DBT Explorer, you'll get a whole new layer of understanding to your data pipeline. Now that you can seamlessly visualize how the data products you're building and deploying are actually used across your organization. And coupled with exposures will be an embeddable tile that you can put in a dashboard so stakeholders can trust the data, value the team's work, no data help, and avoid issues. Now you can showcase your work and gain trust, meeting analysts where they are. And then seamlessly jump back into Explorer to investigate and resolve any issues with feedback loops to both development and consumption workflows. So these features will be part of a beta kicking off later this year. Stay tuned for news about that. We're really excited to continue the momentum with Explorer, fulfill the vision so customers can make DBT Cloud the best place for data teams to build, use, trust, and surface their data products.